Hey, what is up guys, MKBHD here, coming back at you from Las Vegas, and who would have thought the coolest booth at CES 2015 would be a car company? So obviously there's tons of stuff at CES that's really cool, obviously to check out, and there are more videos on that stuff to come, but when you think of high tech, you rarely think of the ancient 100-year-old car industry. And I've talked about stuff that I guess Tesla's done in the past year or so, but BMW this year had a legitimately awesome booth at CES worth checking out. So starting with the BMW i8, totally dope looking car if you couldn't already tell or if you haven't seen it. I have some more stuff with that coming up soon, but if you don't already know, the i8 is one of the most badass hybrid cars in the world with a combination of an engine that has a gas tank and an electric motor with batteries that need to be charged. Now I showed off wireless charging of phones in the past, but leave it to BMW to introduce inductive wireless charging in their car. So they're working on basically driving up onto an inductive wireless charging mat in your garage and you're charging the battery at almost the same rate as if you were physically plugged in. And here's another thing, the BMW M4, so this is their flagship sports car right now essentially, and they had a showing with these concept lights on the car, OLED taillights, and laser headlights, which seem a little bit weird, but there are a ton of things that this can become useful for. The OLED taillights could theoretically be any color you want uh, and create any pattern or any color and any frame rate, uh, which is crazy. You're basically using your taillights as a display on the back of your car, uh, but they looked really sharp. The only thing I'd be hesitant about is if OLED taillights would be bright enough. Obviously, they're doing this demo in a dark demo showroom where everything's supposed to be dark already, but I would hope that they're also light and visible outdoors and regular light, but still, they looked pretty dope. And then there's the laser headlights. They turn on automatically at night, and they're on all the time to eliminate 650 yards in front of you. Now, you don't think you want your headlights on full high beam all the time. Seems like a bad idea, but there is intelligent lighting involved. Sensors decide where to highlight dark areas on the road in front of you, and it'll also intelligently cut out a patch of the laser headlights to not blind the car on the other side of the road in front of you or in oncoming traffic. So this is basically the way headlights should be. Disclaimer, uh, laser headlights aren't exactly legal in the United States right now, but they would totally should be. Uh, so this is just a concept that's basically a year out for BMW over in Europe. Still awesome. They also show gesture controls from a sensor in the car roof for the BMW iDrive system. They have a backseat tablet that's meant to be able to control the heating in the car or other features before you even get in or after. They have a new key fob for the i8 hybrid that will remotely let you check on how that wireless charge is doing or check on other car status stuff like your door locks. All of these things are future plans that are down the road for them, pun intended, but the best looking demos of this booth for them were from the pretty tame looking BMW i3. I know you see the i8 and it looks super sharp and their M4 is such a sporty car, but the i3 has a lot of tricks up its sleeve. First, there was a crash avoidance demo where the car literally stops itself before an obstacle, even if you're stopping on the gas. And then there was the final trick that just kind of blew everyone's mind, summoning the thing from a smartwatch. So there you go guys, it was pretty surreal sitting in the back seat of a car that was driving itself with no one else in it, but it was a lot of fun to check out what BMW had at the booth this year, and uh, I got my eye on them, especially with that i8, and look out for the future i8 video I have coming later on this channel. Either way, thanks for watching, stay tuned for more videos, and I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Peace.